Hey gang, so today I'm out here in the garage and we're gonna do some work on my Triumph Tiger here. Now today what I'm gonna do is install some lights on the bike. However, I'll do that in a separate video. What I wanna do here today with this video is show you how to remove these side panels. But to do this job, to get this side panel off here so you can run your wiring for accessories, whether it be lights or whether it be your GPS, whatever you need to put on the bike, right, you want to hide it right behind here. So you're going to need five millimeter Allen key and I'm going to be using two sizes and I'll show you why I need this one here in a minute. So there are five Allen screws or Allen bolts that you have to remove here to get this off. So the first one is this black one right here. It's going to take this plastic piece off. All right. And so as you see, once you've got that off, this thing just comes right out of there. Now there are three screws in here that you have to take out. One here, one here, and then one down here, right? And the one down here, that's a little tough to get to. So that's why you need that shorter Allen key. So you just gotta get in here and unscrew it. It said it's very tight. So get it started with the key and then do it with your fingers. Now there is a washer on that. So make sure you don't lose the washer. So the next one is here. All right, and again, we can use our bigger key this time and again there's a washer on this so note where those washer po are positioned and just like that be careful you don't lose the washer the next one is up here and again that one is uh easy to get to and it does not have a washer on it so again note that's the one without a washer Now the next one, the final screw that you have to remove, well that's back here underneath your seat. So you're gonna to have to take your seat off to do this. All right, and then you're gonna get in there with that short Allen key and remove that bolt. Again, it's easiest just to get it started and use your fingers. And again, it has a washer on it, so note that. So now that you've got all of those screws out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift this up and slide it forward slightly. All right, so this just comes up, and there are hooks I'll show you here and there. Stand up to do this. And then, see, it just pulls off like that. So it comes off pretty easy. All right, so note here on the tank now, we've got these little clips. So there are uh, corresponding clips here on the back of the side panel that slide down into all of these little clips. All right, and then there's in the front here, there are a couple of larger clips on the front of the panel and they're gonna slide in up here. So just note where all those positions are so that when you put this back on, you can put them back in the right place easily. Now, once you have that side panel off, that's really all you need to do in order to run your wiring up to the front of the bike, right? You have access to everything here. You don't really need to take this front panel off. So just be careful. You can see it's kind of just hanging there and it is just plastic. So don't walk by and rip it off or anything like that, but you can just leave it here if all you're doing is gonna be running uh, some wiring here. Now, you also notice when you get in here, that you've got a radiator and all kinds of stuff in your way, so you're not gonna really have a clear shot to run your wiring. What you're gonna have to do is get down in here, and if you do that, you can see that there's a couple of clear paths that go towards the front of the bike. So what I did was I got myself a, a wire fish, right? I just basically used the coat hanger, and then I found a clear path, and then I was able to run the wire. Like, that's the wire for my GPS, that runs behind the radiator and up through to the front of the bike. So that's basically it. The other side comes off exactly the same way. 
uh, and putting it back on is also pretty easy here. I'll show you that when I'm done. All right, so now we're gonna put this blue piece back on. So what we're gonna do is match up the notches on the back of this with these notches here. All right, slide that in. And then we're going to get this up into position so that we can and match up the notches here in the front with where it's supposed to go on the tank. And then everything will slide down like so. All right, so again, it's pretty easy. And then of course, we're gonna put all of those bolts back in and put them all in a little bit loose until you get everything positioned properly and then tighten them down. All right, they're all back in place, so now I'm gonna cinch them down. Again, remember you're going into plastic, so don't over tighten. And of course, I've still got the one back here. All right, that's it. My wiring's run. Now I can finish hooking up the lights. So that's how to take this panel off and put it back on. Not really too bad.